I am the voice of God in the earth. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk Holy with him by Ghost saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, tonight I'm going to speak on some of the mechanics of walking with God, the Holy Ghost in the earth. He is God in the earth today, and we walk with him by saying words. I refuse to play in the shallow pool. I have come into a knowledge of knowing that Jesus is in heaven at the Father's right hand, and they both sent one to be with us in the earth. His name is the Holy Ghost. He's the one with me in the earth, and it benefits me to no end to know how to walk with him effectively now there are ways that we go about with walking with him as god in the earth isn't that good to know we can know the ways that we can know the ways god's not hiding the ways from us in fact he's revealing the ways listen he's revealing the way for you to walk with him as god in the earth if you can hear these words they will go into you and change you well the number one way that we walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth is by speaking words and predominantly speaking in agreement with his word the words that he's already spoken holy men of old spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so we have these words say these words that were already spoken well there are some of us who have come to know him the Holy Ghost as God I trust that you're one of them but I have a responsibility to people who are here to my partners and people that are with me are you here some of us have become carriers of this message they are provers of the spoken word they prove it I'm proof of it the Bible says to prove all things we are proving it I live by every spoken word of God Luke chapter 4 and we see here this is right after Jesus was baptized by John in the River Jordan and the Holy Ghost came out of heaven and rested on him you remember that Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being now full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness verse 4 now hang on here this is literally the first written words that we have anyway the first words that Jesus spoke out of his mouth after being full of the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost is on him and here we have the first recorded words that Jesus said out of his mouth after the Holy Ghost came on him is this significant Jesus said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God so here we have Jesus telling us how to live that man shall live by every word of God so we can see that there must be life in those words if that's how we're going to live right man lives by this the literal standard version says man shall not live by bread alone but by every saying of God so he'll live by every saying of God the Aramaic Bible says every utterance of God so we can see what's happening here man's gonna live or have life or have abundant life by the utterance of God or by the saying of God 
in fact Matthew 4 4 says by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God man shall live how are we going to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God you shall live so if it proceeds out of it had to be spoken it had to be verbalized it had to be said how are you gonna live by words that are said spoken and verbalized by God yeah so we'll live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so I am the voice of God in the earth say that I am the voice of God in the earth oh 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 ho ho yourself we just were told how we're gonna live right and living would be walking with God in the earth it's gonna be by every word spoken out of the mouth of God are you here first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost what's your body the temple of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God he's the one in the earth and your physical body is his temple that means that's where he lives what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you or who is in you which you have of God that means your body which you have of God and you are not your own you could say you are not just your own right because you're not the only one in there now who's in there you and him guess what that's who is in the earth right now you and him are you in the earth yes is he in the earth yes for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body what's the God in your body or who's the God in your body Holy Ghost you're the temple your body's the temple Holy Ghost in you your body right his body say my body his body his body my body right where is he he's in you he's in your body therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's now is your tongue part of your body is your mouth part of your body do we have to go and name all the parts no your tongue and your mouth is part of your body say my body now who do we just say your body is also it's not just your own it's God's body therefore your tongue would be God's tongue and your mouth would be God's mouth man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God I am the mouth of God in the earth you're the mouth of God I am the mouth of God in the earth say it I am the mouth of God in the earth and to speak his word that's already been written and already been spoken is the best and most effective way of being the mouth of God in the earth get that through your thick skull you are the mouth of God in the earth man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so we're speaking his words out of our mouth but it's not just our mouth are you here well I am the voice and the tongue of God in the earth voice sounds a little better to say I am the tongue of God is a little weird but you understand what I'm saying I live by every word that proceeds out of my mouth is this too difficult I'm trying to make it as simple as possible I'm going to live by every word of God that proceeds out of my mouth he said you're gonna live by them well there must be life in them for us to live by every word of God has the ability within itself to produce itself if it's a prosperity scripture that word will produce prosperity if it's a healing verse of scripture that word will produce 
healing if it's a youth renewing a youth renewing scripture that word will produce youth renewal the mechanics of working with the life of God that's in that's already in that verse the mechanics is to give voice to it we live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God I think you're getting this well there's life in those words and the mechanics is to give voice to it say it vocalize it it proceeds out of your mouth and there is life beyond you and where you're at right now that's the point here we're going to be speaking life out beyond you that does something for you his words are supernatural when we say them we're speaking life supernatural life out beyond us out beyond my ability out beyond my physical being or my circumstances are you here this is really good news his words are supernatural they produce the thing said they produce the thing said what does his words his spoken words his verbalized words produce the thing said i didn't produce it his spoken word which has life in it is producing it he sent his word and it produced this is the way god does things he sent his word and the word itself produced isaiah 55 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth so shall his word be that goes forth out of his mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish what shall accomplish the word spoken out of his mouth it shall accomplish it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it so god is sending his word forth and it the word sent forth will produce it the thing it was sent for well the thing it was sent for was the thing said it will produce the thing said it's how god does everything it's how god created everything and it's how god still does everything isaiah chapter 55 11 it shall accomplish that it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it so here we see god sending something to go do something what is it his word and how did he send it he spoke it right so what produces the thing come on stay with me what produces the thing the word sent it shall produce god separates himself from the words this is going to matter listen god separates himself from the word spoken here's god he sent his word and his word did the thing he separated himself from the thing he sent are you here he sent it to produce your words spoken especially his words spoken out of your mouth his mouth are supernatural words they produced the thing said they produced the thing said they produce the thing said when you speak his words his words are supernatural and they produce the thing said and when you say it you're sending it are you getting this his words are supernatural you're not supernatural his words are supernatural your body is not supernatural in fact that's the definition of natural a physical body right it's a natural body say it's a natural body 
but when you speak out your mouth his supernatural words something like psalms 103 20 he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions now i'm speaking out my mouth his supernatural words he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions i now partake of the supernatural nature and life that's in that word spoken voicing god's word quickens your natural body according to the thing said the words sent it does something supernatural why would his words do something supernatural because they are supernatural words from god your finances are not supernatural but when you combine giving with luke 6 38 which says give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaking together running over when you combine it with the spoken word it produces supernaturally then you have supernatural finances can you see how you're separated from the word spoken you're natural your finances are natural your physical body is natural your circumstances are natural but the word spoken is supernatural and quickens your finances quickens your physical body i think you're getting it when you speak his word supernatural forces begin to work for you so like god separate yourself and your situation from the word spoken when you're speaking the word it begins doing something for you it begins working for you it will not return void i don't know a lot of you might not know this but i began early off being a musician and i took lessons and i put in years and hours and hours and hours of practice and became very proficient at it played professionally but through that time i was always learning and striving and developing and learning how to do different things and play different songs and music and and play with different people all the things you need to know about being a musician at some point in that i no longer had to try to play things i became proficient enough in my skills and as, as a musician that i didn't have to try to play things i could play whatever i needed to play at any time i needed to play it and at some point i began to be removed from having to try and play a certain thing and i would start to listen to the music i became i became somebody who could hear it and i sort of separated myself from the mechanics of it to one who was watching it and listening to it does that make sense it took years of learning how to to do that and i could sit back and listen to what was being played and participate in whatever music or song that i was in now there's a point to this i'm talking about things tonight that you can only really know by doing it and when i'm talking about speaking the word and declaring scriptures these things i'm talking about you can really only really really know just like what i said about that whole thing of being a musician you can kind of get an idea about it but you don't really know unless you've experienced it every person who's a musician musician who's really developed and it goes oh yeah i know exactly what you're talking about why because they've been there enough to hear it and see it and and understand it same thing with speaking the word of god those who hear what i'm saying tonight that have done this know exactly what i'm talking about otherwise i'm leading you into it come on in come on you can do it you can do it right let's take for another example let's take a runner's high have you ever heard of that people that run marathons and they there's a runner's high and they talk about hitting the wall you know you run a really long time then you hit the wall and then another another i i don't know i've heard of these things 
but I really don't know do you see what I'm saying I, I can talk about it only from oh, well I heard somebody else say something about it well God sends forth his word how does he send forth his word by speaking and it does a thing he's separated from it God sends his word and it does the thing now I've done this before I've spoken certain scriptures out my mouth until it's literally got up and went and did the thing say it got up and went and did the thing I know what I'm talking about I've done it over and over again so I have understanding of what the mechanics are of what's going on mark 11 22 Jesus answered and said unto them have faith in God other translations actually the margin of my Bible says have the faith of God or have the God kind of faith it's really what we're talking about speaking in agreement with God having the kind of faith mechanically say mechanically that God uses have the God kind of faith well here he goes on to talk about it for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say right what's the first thing he says whosoever shall say it's not gonna work for you if you don't say whosoever shall say unto the mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says what is this person believing if they're gonna be operating the God kind of faith they're going to believe the thing they said comes to pass you're believing the words you say come to pass say I believe the words I say come to pass does it help to speak God's words yeah because they're his words they're supernatural words those words spoken come to pass and you're the voice and mouth of God in the earth well this is the God kind of faith mark 11 22 23 he shall believe those things what are those things he said just answer the question well he spoke to the mountain no the things he said were words he's not believing anything to do with the mountain people get tripped up over this he's not believing anything to do with the mountain it has nothing to do with the mountain it has nothing to do with the finances it has nothing to do with the sickness or disease you're not believing that that comes to pass you're believing the words you say come to pass I have great faith in the ability of the words I say to come to pass because you're designed to do it he shall believe those things he says or voices you're believing the things the words you say say giving voice to come to pass you say them and they go out and do the thing just like God that's what you believe that's what God believes and when you believe that you're in agreement with him he shall have whatsoever he saith that's supernatural well I have a supernatural component to my life I live by the spoken word of God they supernaturally do things for me that other people don't have those words go out beyond me beyond my ability and do the thing said and I like God work with words I'm a word worker I have the God kind of faith I believe the words I say come to pass and I have whatever I say we're talking about the mechanics of walking with God that's the God kind of faith are you here I think you're getting it first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the Living God who's the Living God Holy Ghost God in the earth today the one who's living in you 
trusting living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy how's he gonna do it how's he do all these things what's the mechanics of walking with god and his faith in the earth is by speaking his words living god trust in living god who gives me richly all things to enjoy well i enjoy healing and health i enjoy prosperity and wealth and i enjoy youth renewal these are things that i obtain by walking with the holy ghost he is god in the earth today and i've learned how to walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you that you've moved upon these people and they're beginning to know you and understand you that you are god in the earth today and you have good things for them life available for them wealth prosperity healing health and youth renewal for them and as they rise up and begin to take your words and speak them out of your mouth out of their mouth they shall begin to see you in clear demonstration and manifestation in every area of their life i thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today i decree that my finances are blessed that the blessing of the lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow in it. and living god gives me richly all things to enjoy i'm abundantly blessed i'm abundantly healed and my youth is renewed i worship you holy ghost in jesus name the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.